Chapter 21 Not enough, 1, you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 21 Not enough, 1, when Su Yaya walked back to Chen Shuqi's office in a happy mood, he had already finished handling most of his work. Watching him walking in the room with a smile on her face, he asked, what did Zhou Peiyun want? She wanted me to go to work tomorrow morning around 10. She said she has an advertisement shooting for me. Su Yaya was happy in her heart and didn't plan on hiding this from Chen Shuqi. After all, he would find out sooner or later that she was going to shoot advertisement. It's better if she told him truthfully. Chen Shuqi glanced at her and said, you want to shoot advertisements. Su Yaya paused when she heard this and looked around. Something seemed to explode in her mind. She quickly ran over to him and hugged his arms. She smiled at him and said, You have an advertisement for me to shoot. No, Chen Shuqi rejected bluntly. Dot Su Yaya pouted her lips in displeasure and she continued, Chen Group is a big company and it has many sub-companies, having a hand in many different businesses including housing, gaming, entertainment, clothing, etc. It seems like every season, it was inviting celebrities to shoot advertisements. How could it possibly have no advertisements to shoot? You're not like those celebrities. Chen Shouqi said expressionlessly. Su Yaya scrunched her eyebrows and was speechless. Can he not say it in such a hurtful way? She admits that she isn't some sort of famous celebrity right now but she was at least an online celebrity. Didn't he see that someone was taking pictures of her? Didn't he see that she was about to be on the hot search rankings? Didn't he see that she will have new advertisements to shoot soon? If this continues, she will become a famous celebrity in no time. In the future, even if Chin Group begged her to shoot an advertisement for them, she will deny them. Humph. Chin Shouqi glanced at her and seeing how deeply unhappy she was, he knew what she was thinking about. He faintly said, you're my wife, Lady Chen. Even if this was a contract marriage, she was still his wife and Lady Chen. Even if they didn't make their status public and barely anyone knew, this was not to be doubted. The other celebrities wouldn't be able to compare against this. Su Yaya blinked her eyes and then again. She suddenly understood what he meant. She smiled and pounced on him, kissing his right cheek. She then raised her head and said, Hubby, you're so mean. You're teasing me on purpose. Chen Shuqi smiled slightly and flicked her face with his right hand. He said in an uncertain meaning. What do you think? Su Yaya giggled and held on to him. You're teasing me. I knew it. I have never seen anyone as shameless as you. Chen Shuqi pinched her face and the smile on his face became more evident. Su Yaya decided to risk it. Since he said that she was shameless, she'll show him shameless. She started blurting out compliments as though it was for free. She pestered Chen Shuqi and said, Hubby, hubby, you're the best. You're the best person in the world. You have Chen Group, such a big company, and Xing Shi Entertainment as well. You also have a lot of resources so just pass some over to me. I just need a bit from you. If she was willing to slip some resources to her, she will be able to enjoy the benefits endlessly. Chen Shuqi raised his eyebrows and stared at her. If I give you some resources, what benefits would I get out of it? Businessman. He is indeed a businessman. No matter what he did revolved around benefits. He even dared to bring up conditions for his own wife. She refreshed her knowledge of him again. However, Su Yaya only dared to complain about this in her heart. She didn't dare to say it out loud or express this. She looked over at Chen Shuqi and thought about what she had that could move him. In the end, she had an idea and kissed his face. Chapter 22 Not Enough, 2 You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio. CH 22 Not Enough, 2 In the end, Su Yaya had an idea and kissed his face. Is this enough? She asked gently and her eyes were bright with flickers of light. 
She looked passionately at him with admiration and love. Chen Xiuqi glanced at her and shook his head, unmoved. Not enough. Ah. Uh, this wasn't enough. Su Yaya pursed her lips. What else could she do? Seeing how she racked her brains to come up with an idea and how she widened her eyes and slightly pouted, she looked innocent and adorable. Chen Xiuqi was touched and reached over to hold her in his arms. He lowered his head and bit her lip. He smiled and reminded, think more. It was a seductive voice, pleasant to the ears like the violin notes. It enticed her to commit a crime. She felt like her ears were pregnant. Sigh. Su Yaya's eyes suddenly brightened. She thought of something and murmured something in his ears. The soft breath landed on Chin Shuchi's ears and it slightly tickled him. Su Yaya was like a kitten leaning on him. The sweet fragrance attacked his nose, like a hook and controlled his emotions. Su Yaya observed Chin Shuchi's expression and smiled sexily and charmingly. She was like a little minx and said in a gentle voice, Hubby, what do you think? Chen Xiuqi's deep eyes swept over her face. He stared at her bright and sly smile. He was suddenly moved by her actions and he lowered his head to kiss her face. He said in her ears, Okay. Ah. He agreed, before she could thank him, he sucked on her earlobe. That was her sensitive part and she couldn't help but to scream. Chen Xiuqi chuckled and sat her down on his thighs. His charming voice said by her hairs, I'll collect some interest first. Although he said this, Su Yaya felt like it wasn't as simple as collecting interest as he claimed. She finally concluded something later on. That is to never make deals with a businessman. With someone who didn't know how business works like her, she will end up being eaten alive. The entire night, Chen Xiuqi claimed that he was just collecting his debt. He made her go a couple rounds with him and in the end, she ended up crying and begging for his mercy. She cried like a kitten. Yet, she didn't know that the more she cried, the more Chen Xiuqi wanted to make love with her. He finally stopped after she fainted. Of course, she had gotten a generous amount of benefits from this night. The next day, Chen Xiuqi gave her a contract for a TV show's second female lead. Is this for me? Su Yaya hugged the contract, unable to react. Yesterday, she said she just wanted an advertisement. Who knew he decided to give him a second female lead role in a TV show? She was too excited and surprised. Chen Xiuqi rubbed the top of her head and he chuckled. It's a reward. He was very pleased with her performance last night. Thank you. Su Yaya held on to the script with both his friends and sat on the bed. She raised her head and smiled. Chen Xiuqi slightly smiled and caressed the corner of her lip. She was obedient so he won't let her suffer. I'm going to work. Okay. Su Yaya answered, very sensible. Hubby, be careful on your way and have fun. Smooches. Chen Xiuqi kissed the corner of her lip and walked out. Su Yaya watched him leave. After he left, Su Yaya lied back on her bed and started to laugh foolishly. Although she was in pain due to Chen Xiuqi's tortures, she and Chen Xiuqi were a married couple so she enjoyed the entire process. Chen Xiuqi had a mouth-dot-watering figure and was experienced at this. Now that she thought about it, it was amazing so she didn't suffer from much. Plus, she had gotten a second female lead for a TV show. She basically earned more than expected. Chen Xiuqi who came back heard the laughter inside the room. He stopped the action of opening the door. Without looking, he could imagine how Su Yaya was lying on bed and rolling around happily. Why is she so adorable and easy to soothe? Chapter 23 because I'm cute, one, you are listening at novelfull.audio. CH23 Because I'm cute, one, after waking up, Su Yaya washed up and got dressed. She headed out the door and drove the car over to the company to meet up with her manager. Su Yaya soon found Zhou Peiyun, who was holding the second female lead script and the contract in her hands. 
The entertainment company she was at right now was a small company called Starlight Entertainment. This year was the fifth year since it was created. The battle within the entertainment circle had become competitive. There were all sorts of entertainment companies, film studios, online celebrities, and actors. Up to hundreds of people would fight over a side lead role in an online drama. As expected of a small entertainment company like Starlight Entertainment, there were limited resources. It was indeed no easy feat for this company to have survived for five years under such intense competition. Perhaps it was because Starlight Entertainment had great luck, originally, it wouldn't be able to survive the year before, but who would have predicted that the manager, Brother Wang, would discover a handsome man with potential on the roadside. Brother Wang fixed the man up and then used his connections to send him to participate in an online drama. Then, that online drama suddenly became popular. Even the handsome man who acted as the second male lead became popular. Right then, this actor climbed his way up and became one of the current popular male celebrities. The handsome man naturally became the top person in Starlight Entertainment. It was around this time that the said handsome actor, Su Chaoran, had filmed a few drama series and advertisements one after the other before finally winning the newbie award. He had earned quite a bit for Starlight Entertainment and even brought fame to some ordinary actors in the company. He helped Starlight Entertainment through the period of difficulty. Half a year ago, Su Yaya signed a contract with Starlight Entertainment. She was basically a newbie since she only took part in an online drama which had a normal amount of views. She was a second female lead who fought for the male lead with the female lead, but her role didn't have much screen time. If it weren't for yesterday when someone had taken pictures of her and uploaded it on the internet, resulting in a majority of positive users' comments, Su Yaya wouldn't even be known. Zhou Peiyun had helped her as well. At 10 in the morning, Su Yaya arrived at the company on time. The moment she walked in, a group of people walked out from the elevator. The person walked in front of the group was about six feet tall. He wore a casual gray outfit and had long legs, making him stand out from the crowd. People noticed him in the first moments. He wore sunglasses that covered half his face and his lips were pursed, which made him appear cold and indifferent. Su Yaya recognized him. He was the elder brother of the popular Starlight Entertainment who participated in the filming of a movie, Su Chaoran. Su Chaoran walked past her without glancing at her, and the group of people followed behind him. There was a breeze of wind as he walked by. The fans waiting outside the company started to scream out his name as Su Chaoran walked out. It was so loud that it almost bursted Su Yaya's eardrums. Su Yaya looked towards the door, but there were too many fans surrounding it. Su Chaoran almost couldn't walk out. The guards had to protect and escort him out as he made his way towards his van. Are you envious? If you're envious, then work hard. When you become popular, there will be many people who will be your fans to support you. They will chase and idolize you. Zhou Peiyun, who came out of nowhere, stood by Su Yaya's side and said this. There wasn't a single person within the entertainment circle who didn't want to be popular. Those who are calm and didn't join the fight are just people who didn't have the abilities to become popular. Those who are able to become popular and desire to become such won't remain calm and peaceful within the circle. Many times, people simply acted calm on the surface but they would hinder others in different ways, for roles and advertisements. Chapter 24 Because I'm cute, too, you are listening at novelfull.audio. CH24 Because I'm cute, too, from Zhou Peiyun's perspective, Su Yaya would be a good person to cultivate. She was beautiful and had the ability to bring life into her roles as well. There was also Shin Shiochi who supported her from behind. If she tried harder, she might become popular one day. But this woman had a bad habit. She was a bit lazy and picky. When Zhou Peiyun arranged work for her in the past, she would express dislike, and would rather go on dates with Shin Shiochi or have sex with him. 
Perhaps Su Yaya believed that with having Shin Shiochi as her supporter would free from worries, so as a result, she didn't place any importance towards her manager. There were a few times when Su Yaya turned down the work she had arranged for her, which was annoying. In the beginning, Zhou Peiyun reprimanded Su Yaya for not working. Who knew that Shin Shiochi would over to talk to her the second time? He said that if she was willing to work, let her work. If not, let her be, as long as she was happy. Okay. Since he had said that as long as Su Yaya was happy, what else could she say? She was just a manager who didn't have much power. Zhou Peiyun could only listen to him. Of course, she simply let these matters pass by while pretending to not know anything. At that time, Zhou Peiyun stopped bothering with Su Yaya's matters and allowed her to do as she wished. Thank goodness that there was still a possibility to cultivate this woman. Her best weapon was certainly her beauty, Su Yaya was able to be on a fashion blogger's Weibo just by going out and shopping. This caught many people's attention, which was why Zhou Peiyun was willing to help her take a spot on the hot search rankings in the future. However, this actress was still currently at the bottom, so no matter whether she was really popular or not for the time being, she needed to become well known first. That way, people would come over with resources. As Zhou Peiyun was pondering this matter, Su Yaya turned her head around and smiled. She said sweetly, Sister Zhou, I was just looking for you. I have an important matter to share with you. Zhou Peiyun slightly raised her eyebrows. She wondered what important matter this girl wanted to say. Could it be that she was too tired and didn't want to work? Zhou Peiyun already spent a lot of effort to help her obtain a role for the advertisement. If this actress wasn't willing to do the work, she could just give it to someone else. After all, there are other actors working under her, Su Yaya wasn't the only one. Of course, if that happens, she will no longer arrange work for Su Yaya and will simply let her do whatever she wants to. What do you want to say to me? Zhou Peiyun crossed her arms over her chest and asked. This was the company's lounge room where employees would come in and out from time to time. Su Yaya looked left and right. When no one was paying attention, she moved closer to Zhou Peiyun and then said in a low voice, Sister Zhou, President Chen gave me a second female lead role in a TV show. Zhou Peiyun's eyes brightened when she heard this. This was clearly unexpected. She thought that Su Yaya was being lazy and didn't want to work. Who knew that she had given her such a surprise? She hurriedly held her arms and said quickly, let's talk upstairs in my office. Su Yaya hurriedly agreed. This seemed right. They should be talking about work matters in the office. Plus, she had gotten the second female lead easily. If people found out about it, it wouldn't be good, so she obediently followed Zhou Peiyun into the elevator. Once they were inside, Zhou Peiyun pressed 5, indicating the fifth floor. She still had not let go of Su Yaya's arm. It was rare that she was affectionate to her. Sensing this, Su Yaya quickly straightened her posture, and kept her bag aside. She watched as the elevator's floor numbers overhead changed until it stopped at the fifth floor with a ding sound. The elevator door opened and two walked out with Zhou Peiyun still holding onto her arm, pulling her straight to the office. Chapter 25 because I'm cute, free, you are listening at novel full dot audio. CH25 Because I'm cute, free, Zhou Peiyun's office was at the end of the hallway. She escorted Su Yaya to the entrance and took out the key to unlock her office door. The manager pulled Su Yaya in before closing the door and locking it. Then, she turned around to look at Su Yaya. Zhou Peiyun stared at this actress with a confused expression. Su Yaya left her feeling perplexed. Did this woman finally become smart? Does she no longer believe that love is everything? She wanted to work now. Or, President Chen didn't want her anymore so this was the compensation he had given her for breaking up. But this wasn't right. President Chen was a very generous person. If they broke up, he wouldn't just give her a second female lead's role in a TV show. 
Could there be other reasons? Tell me. What exactly happened? President Chen really gave you a second female lead's role in a TV show? Zhou Peiyun asked. Su Yaya didn't know that Zhou Peiyun had thought of that much. She nodded her head and delivered the contract to her. She said, Sister Zhou, this is my contract. I just got it this morning. You know that I don't really understand these things, so can you take a look at it for me? Zhou Peiyun scrutinized her before taking the contract. She lowered her head to glance at the TV show's name on the cover and was soon stunned. This is the drama directed by Zhou Tongguang, called Flourishing Palace. She flipped through the contract to see that it was really Zhou Tongguang directing this. Director Zhou Tongguang was an expert at filming historical dramas. The TV shows that he had filmed before all had great ratings. In short, as long as he was part of the TV show, nothing could go wrong. In this flourishing palace which was one of Sheng Shi Entertainment's important investments, everyone revealed their talents and best abilities in order to obtain one of the roles in this drama. These people were about to fight each other. From what Zhou Peiyun knew, the female lead of the drama appeared to be the actress who won both the Thousand Flowers Award and Best Actress Award, Chen Yen. The male lead hadn't been decided yet but there were two potential ones. One was from Starlight Entertainment, Su Chaoran and the other was the popular celebrity, Yan Junyi. The two had their special talents and were good at acting. Both had the chances to obtain the male lead. With such a great configuration, Zhou Peiyun was really suspicious as to how Su Yaya obtained this role. She looked at her and asked, why would President Chen give you this role? Su Yaya laughed and said, because I'm cute, he. It would be strange if Zhou Peiyun believed her. She said with a gloomy face, be serious. What exactly happened? She didn't believe her words so Su Yaya stopped smiling. She told Zhou Peiyun the truth, I slept with him. Zhou Peiyun was slightly stunned before she reacted. Su Yaya and Chen Shuqi were in a relationship anyways. Instead of saying that they were a couple, why not say that Chen Shuqi was Su Yaya's sugar daddy? It was normal for him to sleep with her. Isn't it a parting gift? Zhou Peiyun crossed her arms over her chest and asked. Su Yaya widened her eyes in shock, unable to understand why Zhou Peiyun would say this. She hurriedly shook her head and said, No, no. How could it be? We're pretty good together. Really? Zhou Peiyun confirmed again. Of course. The moment she finished her words, her phone rang. She opened her bag to take her phone out. Seeing the name on the screen, she smiled happily and waved her phone at Zhou Peiyun. She indicated for her to look at the name on the screen. She said proudly, See, President Chen called me. Chapter 26 A Great Relationship, 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio CH26 A Great Relationship, 1. When Zhou Peiyun saw the name flickering on Su Yaya's screen, she realized that her guess was wrong. Su Yaya and Chen Shuqi were in a pretty good relationship as Su Yaya claimed. Su Yaya smiled and said to Zhou Peiyun, Sister Zhou, I'm going to answer him. As she said this, she went to the side to answer his call. Chen Shuqi's pleasant voice rang from the phone, Where are you? I'm at the company. Su Yaya responded, I'm talking to Sister Zhou regarding work matters. She said there's an advertisement that I can film. Chen Shuqi remembered now. Right, you told me about this yesterday. MHM, Su Yaya felt it was strange that he was calling her now. She asked out of curiosity, Are you not busy now? How do you have time to call me? Chen Shuqi replied, Some matters in the company came up all of a sudden. I need to go to S City and won't be back until the day after. Do you want anything? I can bring something back for you, that there was not a single woman who didn't like to buy things. In the past when Chen Shuqi went on business trips, he would bring some gifts back for Su Yaya. After that, it became a habit. Whenever he went on business trips, 
he would ask her what she wanted and he would bring it back. Su Yaya thought about it. She had everything she needed and plus, Chen Xiuqi just gave her a platinum card. If she needed something, she could just buy it at the shopping mall. There was nothing else she needed at the moment, so she replied obediently, I don't have anything I want. I just want you to come back earlier. Do you really not have anything you want me to buy for me? Chen Xiuqi was really generous with Su Yaya. Ever since he met her and started to pursue her, he bought her everything she wanted. Firstly, he had enough money and didn't care that much about it. Secondly, Su Yaya was to his taste. It's fine if he pampered his own woman. Every time, Su Yaya wasn't polite about it either. Whatever she wanted, she told Chen Xiuqi, whether it be limited edition purses, makeup products, or jewelry, she asked for many precious and valuable items from him. Because of this, Chen Xiuqi had a certain understanding of her. He felt it was strange that she didn't ask for anything from him this time, this wasn't like her usual style. Aware of how the original host got along with Chen Xiuqi, Su Yaya laughed and explained, You already gifted me many things. I temporarily don't have anything I want. She thought about it and added, If I really want something, then I hope you can come back safely. I will be waiting for you at home. Chen Xiuqi was slightly stunned. This was the first time she had said something like since he had known her. A strange and warm feeling rose in his heart. Her considerate words made him happy. Okay. Came Chen Xiuqi's laugh. He said, I will try my best to finish my work and come home earlier. You have to be good at home, do you understand? Is he talking to her like she was a kid? I know. Su Yaya said obediently. Chen Xiuqi talked with her for a bit before hanging up. Once Su Yaya got off the call, she looked over to see Zhou Peiyun leaning against the table, smiling at her. She looked warmly at her, like she was family. Sister Zhou, don't look at me like that, okay? Su Yaya was really frightened by her gaze. She was scared that she had done something wrong. So it was President Chen's call before. Seeing how you guys are stuck like glue, it seems like you two have a great relationship. Zhou Peiyun was satisfied with Su Yaya's behavior, the most she had ever been with her. No wonder people say one makes great progress after a few days of not seeing each other. She and Su Yaya have not seen each other for half a month, and within that span of time, Su Yaya had become smarter. Chapter 27 A Great Relationship, too, you are listening at NovelFull.audio. CH 27 A Great Relationship, too, in the past, Zhou Peiyun was still worried at the thought of this girl's lazy personality. If President Chen didn't want her, this girl probably wouldn't even have time to cry, but she was fine now. Su Yaya seemed to have reached a certain kind of understanding, so now there was the possibility of continuing to cultivate her. Su Yaya didn't know what Zhou Peiyun had been thinking. When she heard her manager comment that she and Chen Xiuqi had a great relationship, she couldn't help but laugh. Su Yaya smiled her crescent dot like eyes and sweetly said, We do have a great relationship. He even gave me a platinum card and told me to buy whatever I like. He even asked if I wanted gifts just now, but I was quite embarrassed to ask him for more things since he had already given me so much, especially the second female lead role this morning. He <laughs> he. Seeing how foolishly happy she was, Zhou Peiyun really wanted to take back her previous thoughts. She thought that this girl became smarter, but as it turned out, she only had that much ambition. Zhou Peiyun was really wondering if she made an error in choosing her. After her laugh, Su Yaya finally thought of the real reason why she was here. She looked at Zhou Peiyun and said, Sister Zhou, is it fine if I sign the contract for the second female lead? You know that I don't really understand this. Can you look at it for me? Although Su Yaya had a dream of becoming a celebrity, she was never part of the entertainment circle in her past life, so she didn't understand contracts and such. Even though the original host had entered the entertainment circle, she only filmed an online drama and never worked seriously after. 
Every day, she was focused on going on dates with Chin Shuqi. Her heart wasn't on her work so she naturally didn't understand this either. But Su Yaya felt that since Zhou Peiyun was her manager and an expert in this field, there will definitely be no problem in letting her handle this matter. In reality, the truth was as Su Yaya expected. After Zhou Peiyun saw the contract and parts of the script, based on the basic knowledge of the drama, she said positively, President Chen had given you this role so there will naturally be no problem with the contract. Plus, this script is reliable. If you can film with director Zhou Tongwang and receive his guidance, it is a very good opportunity for you. You don't need to consider. Just sign it. Okay. Since Sister Zhou had said this, I'll sign the contract. Su Yaya was obedient. She did what Zhou Peiyun said. Zhou Peiyun looked at her and slightly shook her head. She said in concern, you probably don't know the things people do to get a role in this drama, even if it's just a side role. Yet, you easily obtained the second female lead. Once people find out, they will all be envious of you, so it's better to keep this low dot profile. You must not let others know, otherwise you might receive their hate. I know, I know. Su Yaya hurriedly nodded her head. Sometimes, when someone obtains something good, others will be envious and hate them. This was like working in a company. Although she obtained a bonus because of her hard work, people around her would become jealous and congratulate her, asking her to treat them out. Behind her, however, they would talk badly about her. She had experienced this before so she understood this reasoning. Su Yaya definitely won't brag about this. After she reminded Su Yaya, Zhou Peiyun reminded her on other matters. She specifically emphasized, director Zhou Tongwang has high standards for actors, especially their acting. If you're bad at this, he will reprimand you. Your acting won't be good enough in front of director Zhou Tongwang, so you better observe and study the script on your free time. When you have time, come to the company for acting classes. Otherwise, you might be reprimanded by director Zhou Tongguang and cry. Director Zhou Tongguang isn't that bad. Su Yaya spit her tongue out. She was a bit afraid. Yes, so you need to work hard. Zhou Peiyun said dot dot. Chapter 28 A Great Relationship, 3, You Are Listening at Novel Full dot Audio CH 28 A Great Relationship 3. Su Yaya thought about it. Since she wanted to be a celebrity, she needed to work hard and earn money. She definitely needed to work on her acting. Since director Zhou Tongguang has high standards, she will listen to Zhou Peiyun and learn. After all, it's not a bad idea to have extra talents. It's good to learn more things. She nodded her head and said, Sister Zhou, don't worry. Starting tomorrow, I will go to the company every day and attend acting classes. I won't ever be absent. The fact that you have this mindset puts me at ease. After Zhou Peiyun heard this, she was comforted. Despite how much of a headache Su Yaya gave her in the past, she was still her artiste after all. Plus, President Chen was supporting her from behind, so if she has a good future, it will be good for her too. Artists and managers benefited each other. The two of them wrapped up the discussion regarding second female lead's role since Chen Xiuqi had gifted it to her already. It was set and couldn't be changed. No matter how others will attempt to take her role, it was impossible. Zhou Peiyun set aside this topic temporarily and began to talk to Su Yaya about other things. Yesterday, I was talking to you about an advertisement I got for you after a lot of difficulties. Originally, I wanted to give this to Xiao Xian. Yet, someone had posted pictures of you on Weibo yesterday and the users gave nice comments. Our contract partner was also satisfied so I decided to give this advertisement to you. Thank you, Sister Zhou. Su Yaya smiled and said in appreciation. If she wins a job, this meant that she will make money. No matter who Zhou Peiyun wanted to give this project to in the past, she decided to give it to her now. Su Yaya will take this seriously and earn money. 
why not go for it? Zhou Peiyun waved her hands and said, don't thank me too early. Although this advertisement is mine now, the contract partner wanted to see you first. Come with me to their company later on. Okay, I have no problem. Su Yaya smiled and made an okay hand gesture. When we go there, I will be there for you. Do you understand? Zhou Peiyun looked at Su Yaya and said. This meant that she wanted her to speak less or even be quiet. After all, she could handle everything. Su Yaya nodded her head and said, I understand. Okay, let's go. After Zhou Peiyun reminded her head, she led her out the door. Zhou Peiyun said they'll take the company's car but Su Yaya had driven over. She offered to give Zhou Peiyun a ride in car over instead. Zhou Peiyun thought about it and didn't reject her offer. She followed Su Yaya to the parking lot. Upon seeing the white Cayenne that Su Yaya driven over, Zhou Peiyun had no idea what to say. There was only one thought in her mind. Chen Xiuqi really pampers her. She had been a manager for so many years but she couldn't even afford a Cayenne. Look at this comparison. The two drove to their partner's company and Su Yaya parked the car in the parking lot. The pair got out of the car and took the elevator up. When the door was about to close, someone called from outside, stop the door. When Su Yaya heard the voice, she hurriedly pressed on the open door button on the side. The elevator door, which was about to close, opened again, and two men wearing business suits walked in. The man up front held a briefcase, clearly an assistant or something similar. The man behind had an imposing manner and held more status. When Wang Wenhao walked in, he subconsciously glanced at Su Yaya while slightly squinting his red phoenix eyes. He revealed a tint of happiness on his handsome face. He said, Su Yaya. Chapter 29 Wang Wenhao, 1, you are listening at novelfull.audio. CH 29 Wang Wenhao, 1, Su Yaya was dumbstruck for a moment. She didn't recognize the man in front of her. The original host must have known him, but she didn't have a deep impression of him. The man guessed that she didn't recognize him from her look. He softly smiled and said, I am Wang Wenhao. Do you remember now? Su Yaya gasped in surprise and said, You look so different. I almost can't even recognize you. She casually said this. Saying that they had changed a lot so she couldn't recognize him was only to conceal her awkwardness since she couldn't remember. Wang Wenhao's lip twitched at this. I have always been like this. You just didn't place me in your heart. Ah. Uh. This was awkward now. Dot seeing this, Zhou Peiyun came to relieve the situation. She said happily, Hello President Wang, I am Yaya's manger. So it seems like you already knew her. If I had known, I would have taken her here earlier. Are you guys high school classmates? Wang Wenhao responded calmly, elementary classmates. He. Su Yaya glanced at him and complained. Elementary classmates. He hadn't seen the original host for at least a decade. Now that she transmigrated over, it would be peculiar if she was able to recognize him in one try. Zhou Peiyun felt slightly awkward but then she started to use her skills as a manger. Since President Wang and Yaya are good friends, President Wang please take care of her. Good friends, not elementary classmates. She deepened their friendship. Very good, very good. Wang Wenhao glanced at her and then at Su Yaya. He knew that she entered the entertainment circle and that his company conveniently had an advertisement to film. It could easily be seen why they came here today, yet he pretended to be clueless and asked, why are you guys here today? Zhou Peiyun laughed and said, we came over to sign a contract with your company for an advertisement. Wang Wenhao said okay and then looked towards his assistant. His assistant understood and said, Vice President Huang is in charge of this. Wang Wenhao nodded his head, indicating that he knew. As they spoke, Su Yaya and Zhou Peiyang arrived at their designated floor and the elevator door soon opened. 
both manager and walked out. Meanwhile, Wang Wenhao who was originally supposed to go up another three floors, actually followed them out unexpectedly. Su Yaya looked up at him and met his gaze. A tint of light flashed through his red phoenix eyes. He smiled and said, you guys can go sign the contract. I'll take a look too since this will affect our company's achievements. It was his company so they had to accompany him to take a look. They didn't have the right to refuse. Su Yaya was just worried. She didn't recognize him from before. Will this man take revenge? However, she only thought this in her heart without revealing it on the surface. It was Zhou Peiyun who reacted first and pulled on her, giving her a look. Su Yaya wasn't stupid. She understood Zhou Peiyun and smiled at Wang Wenhao. Classmate, I'll trouble you to take care of me. She first greeted him and then brought out the fact that they were classmates. Although she didn't recognize him before, he probably won't try to obstruct her just when they were about to sign the contract. This wouldn't be worth it. After all, he was a man. No worries. Wang Wenhao answered bluntly. They quickly walked to Vice President Huang's office. When the secretary saw that Wang Wenhao was here too, he hurriedly greeted him. Wang Wenhao said, I heard that you guys will be signing a contract for the advertisement so I decided to come and take a look. The secretary nodded his head and said, yes, yes. He already recognized Zhou Peiyun by the side. A few days ago, in order to get this advertisement contract, a manager named Zhou Peiyun had accompanied Vice President Huang and the others and drank a lot of alcohol. She really would do anything for it. Who knew that she came with President Wang today? It seemed like they actually knew each other and were familiar even. If they knew this earlier, Vice President Huang probably wouldn't torture her like that. Plus, when Vice President Huang had the manager bring her actress over, he actually had other plans as well. But from this situation, it seemed like Vice President Huang's plans will fail. Is Vice President Huang in the office? Wang Wenhao asked the secretary. Although the secretary knew some things, he didn't dare to act in front of Wang Wenhao. He hurriedly replied, he's in there. Then I'll go in. After Wang Wenhao said this, he turned around and said to Su Yaya and Zhou Peiyun, you guys can come in with me. Afterwards, Wang Wenhao knocked on Vice President Huang's door. President Huang, who was on the phone at the moment, heard the knock but did not immediately let the newcomers in. Instead, he soothed his mistress and spoke sweet words to her, up until he agreed to buy her what she wanted and she was finally happy. He happily hung up and then looked at the door. The man knitted his eyebrows and called them in. Wang Wenhao walked in and gave a sharp look at Vice President Huang. With a smile that was not truly a smile, he said, Vice President Huang, you seem to be very busy. We had to wait outside for a few minutes. Chapter 30 Wang Wenhao, too, you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 30 Wang Wenhao, too, the moment Vice President Huang saw Wang Wenhao walking in, he trembled. Why was Wang Wenhao outside his office? Did he speak too loudly before? The soundproof quality of the office was pretty good so they probably didn't hear anything. Feeling guilty, he didn't dare to look at Wang Wenhao's questioning gaze. He smiled on the surface and said, I was a bit busy. Before, I was discussing with a company we were partnering with about business so I didn't know that you were outside. If I did, I would have invited you in much earlier. Wang Wenhao chuckled. How could he not know how Vice President Huang was as a person? He pretended to be kind and caring but did he really think he didn't know? I heard that someone is signing a contract with us for an advertisement so I decided to come and take a look. Wang Wenhao didn't bother with nonsense and immediately went straight into the topic. He pointed at Su Yaya and said, she is my old classmate. I heard that you're going to sign with their company so I came to see. Vice President Huang was slightly stunned before he smiled and said, Oh, what a coincidence. As it turns out, she is your old classmate. Then we definitely should sign the contract. 
Yet, he was complaining inside his heart. Damn. He was interested in her first, but she got taken by him. Wang Wenhao really liked to go against him. Wang Wenhao pretended to be clueless and said in a proper manner, I am quite pleased with my classmate so just sign the contract. When he finished, he looked at Su Yaya and revealed a gentle expression. His eyes seemed to be smiling and he said, Yaya, am I right? Oh my god. His smile was too enchanting. Su Yaya's heart thumped and didn't know what he was referring to when he said that he was pleased. But at this time, it's not like she could just refuse to answer, right? She followed along and nodded her head. Right. There must be something going on between the two. Vice President Huang was unhappy. Originally, he had personal motives and wanted to take advantage of her. But because Wang Wenhao was present and he was bent on protecting her, he couldn't do anything about him so he could only swallow this anger. He had his assistant bring the prepared advertisement contract and on the surface, he politely signed the contract with Su Yaya. Su Yaya was supposed to film an advertisement on the white rabbit candy. She just needed to follow the contract's requirements and film as if the white rabbit candy was very sweet and delicious. To a foodie like Su Yeni, she had no problem with this. Plus, she enjoyed eating white rabbit candy. But because Su Yaya wasn't that popular, the advertisement fee was only 350000 It was a normal price and her company had to withdraw some from the fee. In addition to that, she also had to pay Zhou Peiyun. In the end, Su Yaya won't have over 100000 However, Su Yaya was still satisfied. After all, she hadn't earned that much money in one go. Of course, she wasn't counting the money Chen Xiuqi had given her. After they signed the contract, Zhou Peiyun and Vice President Huang praised each other again. The two smiled and shook hands, hoping for a delightful cooperation. Wang Wenhao watched them the whole time. When they were about done praising each other, Wang Wenhao looked at the time on his watch, turned around, and said to Su Yaya, Yaya, we haven't seen each other for so long. Let's go out for dinner. Su Yaya was speechless. President Wang, I don't think I'm that familiar with you. Zhou Peiyun looked at her expression and knew what she was thinking. She was afraid that she might offend him so she interrupted and said, President Wang is right. You guys are classmates so you guys should go out for dinner. Let's go. Since Zhou Peiyun had said this, Su Yaya couldn't really refuse his offer. She agreed to dinner. Wang Wenhao turned around and asked Vice President Huang if he wanted to come along as well. Vice President Huang wanted to shred Wang Wenhao to pieces. If he didn't appear, he would be the one having dinner and having a more intimate interaction with her. Now, he could only watch on with a smile without even reveal his displeasure. Vice President Huang said, My wife said that she just cooked soup and is waiting for me to go home to eat now. Then Vice President Huang can't come with us. What a pity. Wang Wenhao said faintly. Heh. Dot the two casually chatted and Wang Wenhao didn't have much to say to him. He turned around and looked at Su Yaya. With a gentle voice, let's go, Yaya. Wang Wenhao was basically going against the rules, not only was his voice pleasant to the ears, he seemed to be seducing her. Especially when he called her Yaya, it was as if he tasted her name on his tongue first before saying it. With that handsome face, the young man looked at Su Yaya playfully with his red phoenix eyes, as if to seduce her. Onlookers can't help but think more about their relationship. Su Yaya's heart thumped quickly, since such a look from this man could easily cause misunderstandings. She screamed inside her heart. Heaven knows that she was really not familiar with him.